obligations are a choice. This isn't just the Philippines, this is generally. Um, but in the Philippines, it's a bit more in your face. Because, for example, if, if, you're, if your family, your wife's family, are constantly needing assistance or asking, can you sponsor a child for a school or whatever, it's not your obligation. That's their obligation. As such, you can decide to say yes or no. And I'll be honest with you, if people kept coming to me, or even the first time said, can you sponsor my child? It's instantly a no. Because if somebody was saying there, there's, there's two ways to approach this. If somebody was saying to me that they're struggling to pay for their child's schooling this year after their grandmother was sick and they had to pay all the costs on that, um, and then just left it at that. I may even sponsor that child because they didn't even ask. But when somebody actually turns around and says, oh, my child's got to start school next month, I don't know how I'm going to afford it. It's like, well, the school starts next month. How long have you known your child's going to be starting school? Oh, well, several years. So what have you done in that time? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, well, tough. You're not my... You know, your child is not my responsibility, it's your responsibility. And I know it sounds pretty blunt, but as soon as you start sponsoring people's child, they all bring their children to you. Sad, but very, very true. And the same with people's medical expenses and other bits and pieces. It's a choice. It's not an obligation. It's not a responsibility. It's not your problem. It's their problem. As soon as something starts to become an obligation that other people are pressing on you, that's when you need to start thinking about are you actually helping or are they actually abusing? Uh, because if they're not actually at least contributing to these costs, it's purely abuse. Um, yeah, so don't get caught out with that one. But I know people have had it before where they're like, well, the sponsor six, seven kids and then they all drop out. And then the following year, there's other ones wanting to do it, and you say, "Ah, oh, I'm not doing it now because none of your, none of the kids last year actually finished their course." And then they get this attitude of relatives. The kids were never theirs. They weren't their children. They were, they, you gave money to help them out. <laughs> you paid for sponsorship, and because you paid for it, these privileged children were too lazy to even finish the courses. Yet you've got other kids that can't afford to do it, but are working and working their way through college off their own back because they've got no family funding and they've got nobody helping them. And they'll, they'll do whatever it takes to get through it because they know it's a better life. But there's a lot of spoiled kids in the Philippines, it really is, where they've got the parents telling them that everything's going to be all right and the parents pick up the tab all the time. and it just becomes a pain in the backside because they're, they're horrible kids. I'm sure the, the parents will suffer with them later, you know, when a transfer of assets and suddenly the, um, the house is up for sale because they want to kick out mum and dad because they realise the house is worth more than they think their parents are to them. Um, I know other people have had people come and sit at their table on a day out. You know, you're out with your wife and your wife's brother comes and sits with you, expecting you to pay for the meal. But, and the beer that they've ordered, and they brought their friend as well. Um, hasn't happened to me in that. I've had it happen at a wedding, or uh, was it? Um, baptism, baptism. Because we had a uncle turn up. Bear in mind, the uncle hasn't bothered to turn up to the actual baptism. He's turned up at the restaurant, with a friend for free beer and food because I'm picking the tab up. Um, didn't wash down too well with me, let's just put it that way. But that that is the brass neck of some people. That's what I say, things move from being a choice to obligation because people try and push it on you, like this idiot will pay for it. Push it back, going, this isn't my child. Oh, your beer tab, yes, because you didn't go to the baptism. Huh? Well, you didn't go, did you? So, you're not with us. I know I'm pretty brutal like that, but that's just the way I am. It's just like, you've got no respect for me. So, no, I'm not paying for your drink or food. 
fact, I would like to throw you out. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching.